Hello people of Yu-Gi-Oh! This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Today I'll be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Varane, or Varane, whatever you call it. Episode 3, First Compact. This is a set after a uh, Yusaku or Playmaker uh, wins the duel against that and not the Night Hanoi they face. And he goes down for him and just asks some questions and he's like, You won't stop us, we'll keep on coming and soon you'll be destroyed and stuff like that. So then uh, Ignis says something and then just destroys the knight. I don't know if he actually killed the guy or just killed his avatar. It is very, very dark that he killed, that he actually killed the guy. And then, uh, uh Go turns up to say being angry with playmakers and say he feels like he's taken, uh, all the fans away. And Blue Angel shows up, probably trying to, uh, stop the fighting for it again. But, uh, fuck you. Or playmaker is just being all that uh, cool, so I'm like, okay, I'm just go now. And so like that, then when he gets back to uh, the real world, he's looking at the pain and just uh, starts arguing with the ignorance and just starts doing some tests on him. And then he goes over to uh, uh, Soul Technology for Aki, or Aki. Uh, Akira, yeah, Akira, is just talking to the the people in charge of the technology, I don't know what to call them, and they're probably blaming him for uh, losing Ignis, and saying that he had to finally get Ignis back. Uh, and that one runs into uh, a new character named uh, Emma. See, they see the type of character that that joins aside, but she needs some incentive for for the joins. And he's a little bit interested in a playmaker, so it's the way for Yulem. Um, I think they saw a bit of a owie at one point, which is good. And then when you talk to his friend and said, he wants to talk with the uh, Ignis, he just said, uh, I'm so, he just talking about flashback in, uh, the, the cybers, and Ignis' eyes just got him all around, all around. And eventually he talks to this other outside and has a bit of a vision or something about that revolver's, uh, dragon or revolver on his dragon. Um, then you see Revolver talking to a guy in Varane, then there's a sound, and he gets out of the tribal world. And then the main, or the, the thing he used to go into the tribal world, the local world, look kind of like a uh, Jack's D wheel. And, uh, and so now there's somebody in a hustle bed, and all it's the night that Yusaku face or somebody else. Probably gonna say who it is. Uh, eventually. And then, uh, this is where uh, Go being angry again. Saying, just, just saying, who's that guy taking his? Take my friends. Taking away the children's smile or something like that. And there's that guy that's with that uh, girl who's just trying to calm down and then that uh, Akira goes up saying if he wants to wants that uh, girl to do uh Ignis to get get him back or do that yeah, playmaker to get Ignis back. And he does it great but he does tell um, that the playmaker says he doesn't do angry that they're that they're uh uh, uh and might have annoying. I had a, a weird moment in the, the virtual world, or Link Rank, I don't call it, where this pigeon and a gargoyle or a troll's head is talking to her. What the hell? The, 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 the avatars. 
Why are they in cells? And we're talking about how Popper Playmaker gets in CS held tonight. I got a few people that have their Playmaker, their avatar. They say, I play, I play Maker. No, I play Maker. No, I play Maker. It feels weird. Why do they have that uh, out for other people to get? Wouldn't, wouldn't the uh, RP the game on the to keep one out there the form to the person that first had it. That's basically a, a virtual identity theft. I don't know. And then there's some uh, guys on the the, the dual boards that have Ryan Wayne and this uh, cop robot or something cop box. Got that one and just said that they're speeding or something, I'm allowed to speed duel. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you talk to the school and Simmer just shows up and just uh, tell him about the Playmaker and stuff like that. that. And he's just wondering about the vision that you had, or they talk to his and stuff like that, Simmer. They had and the uh, Everything that happened with the night and stuff like that. And then Zimmer, Zimmer points out that there's a night in the Varanth again. And Yusaku goes off and when he tells Yusaku he sees it empty. So without any put in a ninja or a Batman, I think. Okay, if somebody pulled a Batman that they was explained that he punched somebody. That's behind me, that's where I sneak up behind him. I just don't know why it's. And uh, what's that? But you thought we were going to Brains. Or about to go to Star there today tonight. And the next two episodes are going to be a duel with him and Go Sweaters. As Go is dead, got the knight. So pretend to be it, be him, be it. The, Get that playmaker out, so. This episode is okay. Again, it's a dialogue heavy episode like the first one. Um, how's about the character moments? Had some weird moments with that burning, with that green head thing. I'm gonna think. I'll think to flesh out more of the story. Like, uh, just explain, uh, he's off his past. Well, I was wondering who it was that gave him out, like, a course, like, he said that, you know, in the, the, yeah, the last episode. I wonder if it, if it is Mam or something else. Or the caretaker ran to orphan and said, that. Anyway, next time, Zaku is gonna face Go and Hopefully it's a good duel and also hopefully it's a standing duel. And I really, really hope that they don't overdo the riding duel like it's the art and other like these. They were good but I just prefer the standing duels. I'm thinking I'm not the only one. But, but anyway. And until next time, have a good as you guys.